Hey, Mark in for Vacationing Des here with the Broad Market Review for August 7th, 2013. Well, another bearish day on Wall Street. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers. S&P 500 down 0 0.38. Dow Jones Industrial down 0 0.31. Technology stops down 0 0.32. And small caps down 0 0.74, leading the way again. Bearish sign. Banks down uh, 0 0.70. Also a bearish sign, more than confirms our down move, leading the way down along with the small caps. And look at that, 2% up on our VIX, up almost to 13 now. And then gold, though, recovered just very slightly. Silver was even. And look at that, oil dropping another 1.2% after the big drop yesterday. And our dollar keeps going down. And look at that, the trend right at neutral. All righty, well, let's take a look at the S&P 500. Here we are on the daily chart, and let's just expand to bring it down a little bit. Then we have this rising wedge here. We broke below it yesterday, and I said, hey, but we're still above the 20 moving average and all the others. Well, guess we're close today, right at the 20 moving average. And again, we had this swing high over here. Also offered some support, it looks like. So this is going to be a critical area, I think. Well, we're not in trouble yet. It's just a nice pullback here. Could it turn around and go the other way? Absolutely. Could it fall on its face? Absolutely. But we don't have to know what's going to happen next in order to make money. Let's take a look at the Dow. A little scarier here. It did close below the 20 moving average. And then we have the NASDAQ. It closed up way above it. So this one's still a little bit more bullish. However, the small caps here, bam, it did close below the 20 along with the Dow. So that is a little bit more of a bearish sign. So back to the S&P 500 here. Yes, uh, we have broken that rising wedge, but on light volume, both yesterday and today. So we might be a little bit in the summer doldrums now here for a little while, waiting for the feds to speak in September about quantitative easing, although it looks like that's going to happen. Well, how are you doing with your trading? Here we are, Dow's up. Uh, over 18% for the year so far. If you want to do better in your trading, we are offering a mentoring course coming up very soon. And at right here in coming events, uh, August 17 through 20. That's a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'll be leading that course for three-day immersion trading. If you want more about it, go up to this button here, Mentoring. Push it, and we'll go right to the mentoring page. Here is a description of it. And down here are actually testimonials, so people have been through the course. And then right here listed in the middle are some benefits that you'd have for going through the three-day course. It's three-day course is just the beginning of your mentorship with Grok Trade, and I will actually be the one leading that particular course. If you want to know more information, just fill out this form right here and hit Submit. And Carolina will give you a call. See if it's appropriate for you to be in this training or not. This is not a sales call. She'll just sit, talk with you about your trading and what you need as far as your education. Well, this is Mark the Meerkat Suffering. As Jesse Livermore, the famous commodities trader, once said, Some days you go long, some days you go short, and some days you just go fishing. Trade well. <laughs>